Hey everybody, this is just going to be a quick tip tonight. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of chatter online about different B3 instruments. And um, I'm always rem reminded how great we have it in Logic with the Vintage B3. Now, is it the best B3 emulator out there? I don't, you know, I think that that's probably up for debate. There's probably some companies... Um, and I'm not going to go through all the others, but there are definitely some companies who have specialized in this instrument and uh, they made some pretty good things. Now, we have an awesome emulation here inside Logic, and um, I think that sometimes we forget that we should mess around with it a little bit. So uh, the tip I want to give you is when using the rotor cabinet. When you're using this particular feature, I find that nine times out of 10, uh, the default for any of the plugins you have or the presets you have, uh, the accelerator is too short. That means um, this accelerator in the second tab, uh, when you push your sustain pedal, it like flips it into high gear without any transition really. So, I mean, I find that when I play uh, a real B3, that that's not exactly the experience I have most of the time. And um, even when it is the experience I have, I find myself wanting a slightly different experience. So we can actually slow that down uh, so that when I push the sustain pedal, it like ramps into it. and it slows down out of it a little different way. So that's the way that we have it with the horn here. Uh, and you'll see that under this, if you're not seeing exactly what I'm seeing here, if you flip this around with a preset, so that's because probably you're looking at one of these other types. And I'm looking at the real cab. And in this case, uh, we're looking at the rear of it for our mic position. Uh, and you can actually, come through here and change the mic types. I mean, the level of detail is cool. So let's do a condenser for a second. drums as you can hear it in context. Oh. So awesome. I want to see what this sounds like with the so this is an MS pattern at least by the visuals. Um, which is something that I do use when I actually mic up the actual instrument. So let's switch that back out to the condenser for a second. Awesome. I mean, the flexibility we have here, but the actual tip that I wanted to go over is just changing the acceleration speed of the actual horn as it rotates. That way, instead of this thing where it's like... you have a more natural transition. Now, there may be some songs that you're working on where you need it to really move fast. But I find most of the time I don't need it to just snap 
into the highest gear I wanted to actually go over time. Anyway, just a quick tip. If any of you are interested in exploring this instrument even more, let me know in the comments. Uh, there are a lot of different components to this between the main, the rotor cabinet tab, the additional options, the effects, and then the expert mode. This is a huge instrument. And uh, I think that sometimes if you just go through the presets, you're going to be like, oh, that sounds kind of hokey. But um, some of these presets do sound a little hokey. And uh, that just means you can get a lot of different sounds out of this instrument. So if you're interested in hearing more about it, and uh, perhaps even doing a test with our B3 that we have uh, in one of our campus studios, then let me know. We can actually just pull up the whole thing and recreate some of these sounds and see just which one you like better. Anyway, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, hope you're having a great week, and um, I'll do more videos next week. We're back on the train a little bit, so um, thanks, everybody, for sticking around.